Knowing what is contained in the food we eat every day is as important as our well-being. But many people do not really care how the food is made or what goes into the process of making it. People eat for pleasure or because they're hungry. If you take time to see the method employed in cooking, that new favorite dish of yours, then you might consider ditching the meal out of disgust. In this video, we're going to look at foods you perhaps will give a second thought to if you knew their backstory. Before we get started, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more exciting content. Kasu Martsu Kasu Martsu is a traditional Sardinian sheep milk dish. Maggot cheese has been around for centuries, and to some, the cheese is so gross that it should be outlawed. The literal translation is rotten cheese, where the process of production is considered a process of finely metered fermentation. Larvae from flies are deliberately introduced to the cheese to promote an advanced level of fermentation and break down the fat contained in the cheese. The texture of the cheese becomes very soft over time, with liquid dripping out. There would be no Kasu Marzu without maggots, and you could call it the world's most dangerous cheese. Marketing it or serving it in restaurants is illegal, because Kasu Marzu is not for sale in a 2002 enforced regulation made production and sales of the rotten cheese illegal. Virgin Boy Eggs You could take a thousand guesses and still not strike gold as to the origin of the Virgin Boy Eggs. Virgin Boy Eggs are a traditional dish of Dongyang in China, where eggs are boiled in the urine of young boys, preferably under the age of 10. Yes, eggs are soaked in a pool of teenager pee. The dish is prepared by first soaking the eggs in the urine of young boys. Basins and buckets of boys' urine are collected from primary school toilets. It is the key ingredient in virgin boy eggs. Shirako Japanese shirako means white children. The delicacy it refers to are the sperm sacs of either cod, anglerfish, or pufferfish. It is a bizarre looking food. Soft, cluster-like, white, and a creamy blob. They are said to have a sweet custardy taste, also called kiku and tachi. Century Eggs Century eggs are preserved eggs. They are also referred to as thousand-year eggs or millennium eggs, but they are not actually preserved for a millennium or even a century. The process takes anywhere from a few weeks to a few months, as the century egg is made by preserving an egg usually from a duck, that the shell becomes speckled, the white becomes a dark brown gelatinous material, and the yolk becomes deep green and creamy. As yucky as that might sound, century eggs actually taste like boiled eggs and are coated in a lot of other fascinating flavors for unique tastes. Fried Tarantulas Make no mistake about it. Fried tarantulas are actually tarantulas fried in oil, the perfect snack to go with a horror movie. These spiders were first eaten by Cambodians, starving under the Khmer Rouge regime when food supply was at its barest minimum. Spiders are tossed in a mixture of MSG, sugar and salt, and crushed garlic is fried in oil until fragrant. Then, the spiders are added and fried alongside the garlic until the legs are almost completely stiff. Fried spiders in Cambodia became popular and are now served as a deep-fried snack throughout the country. Apparently, they taste a bit like crab. The taste also has been described as bland. Huitlacochi The name Huitlacochi is Nahuto, a language of the Aztecs spoken by more than a million people in central Mexico today. Corn smut Fungus, Mexican truffle, or some of the aliases of Huitlacoche. To prepare it, you first take the corn cobs, then throw it into dishes whole, or tear it apart with your fingers. Don't be scared when gray fungus turns black with heat, because this is a normal characteristic of the ingredient. And the reason why many dishes that contain Huitlacoche have a dark hue. 
corn smut is a fungus that turns normal corn kernels into tumor-like growths covering in blue-black spores. It may look and sound like a disgusting food, something like a diseased corn cob that needs to be discarded, but people have come to see it as a sumptuous meal. In Mexico, it is regarded as a special, referring to it as cuitla coche, that is, sleeping excrement. Hakarl Hakarl is an Icelandic delicacy of fermented Greenland shark meat that gives off a whiff of odor. The meat of the Greenland shark is poisonous when fresh because of its high content of urea and trimethylamine oxide. However, when properly processed, it can be consumed safely. The traditional method of preparation begins with gutting and beheading a shark and placing it in a shallow hole dug in gravelly sand, with the cleaned cavity resting on a small mound of sand. The shark is then covered with sand and gravel. The stones are placed on top of the sand in order to press the fluids out of the body. The shark ferments in this fashion for 6 to 12 weeks depending on the season. Following this curing period, the shark is cut into strips and hung to dry for several months. The only food with a comparable smell would be the Swedish surströmming. Arag Anyone care for a glass of fermented horse milk? Arag is a popular beer drink in Mongolia. Horses are common sights in Mongolia, and the milk of this precious beast has attained gold status. The milk is filtered through a cloth and poured into a huge open sack, which is usually suspended next to the center of the yurt. Alternatively, a vat from Larkwood, or in modern times plastic, can be used. Within this container, the milk gets stirred with a wooden masher. The stirring needs to be repeated regularly over one or two days. Mongolians have been drinking air egg for centuries and is similar to kumis found throughout Central Asia. White Ant Eggs Soup Ditch your regular chicken soup and try having a bowl of white ant egg soup. This bizarre soup tastes a little like shrimp and is made from a mixture of ant eggs and partial embryos from a white ant in addition to a few baby ants to add a hint of sourness. You may think this unusual dish is made from a strange concoction, but this delicacy is surprisingly tasty. Balut If you're in search of a polarizing food whose cooking methods divide opinion, look no further. In the Philippines, eating balut is a common thing. This fertilized duck egg is boiled alive and then eaten from the shell with salt, chili, and vinegar including the partly developed embryo inside. You're supposed to tap a hole in the top of the shell, sup the savory liquid, then crunch down the rest of what's inside, including the feathers, bones, and all. It is not surprising that Filipino Baloo might not sound appealing, but it is a duck egg special for a reason. When you travel to different countries around the world, you're given the opportunity to try exotic food that you're not accustomed to. Sampling local dishes is a great way to stimulate your palate and broaden your culinary horizons. Tell us which of these dishes you would dare to try. And always remember that irrespective of the unusual methods employed in the making, the taste is usually in the pudding. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell as more exciting videos are on the way.